let's uh, work our way back to Banana. Banana Man. Excuse me, Banana Person. I just guessed because you have a beard. <laughs> banana Person will do. So I have two quick ones. One for this year. What are the odds of us being able to get a purchasable DVD of everything we filmed here in the Vista Lounge? And then a request for next year. If at all possible, if we can have earlier notification for the costuming crowd, any suggested themes and whatnot, so that we have more time to plan. Uh, I can bet how you ended up in the banana costume set. <laughs> well, we got this in my book. Uh, I can speak to both of those issues. Regarding a purchasable DVD of the performances, uh, that involves a great deal of things like music rights, and also some of the performers want their, you know, some of the performers have no problem with their performances filmed, others do, like for example, comedians, um, just as a general rule, prefer not to have film of their event out there until they decide to film a, a special. It just becomes extremely complicated, and it, uh, it's just, it's also part of the specialness of the event. I mean, not to tell you how to enjoy it or not, uh, but I, I think it's it's just not really going to be feasible on our end to really work out the details of that. The rights, issue, the rights issues, that, I mean, that's a big one uh, as far as the music goes. You know, my music is fine, these guys' music is fine, but um, any other artist has, you know, we, we couldn't even necessarily negotiate directly with the artist who would have to negotiate with some third party who controls the rights. It's a, you know, it becomes very hairy very quickly. Um, and... And we, you know, we do for the most part. You're welcome to to film the performances, and when given permission, post them on YouTube or at least post them uh, archivally for each other. Uh, that is about as close as we're going to be able to get for the foreseeable future, and it seems to work well enough. It's Grateful Dead shows. Think of it that way. Yeah. Uh, and regarding costume theming, uh, I I hear you, and I and I understand uh, where you're coming from. There, we have numerous. Uh, enthusiastic cosplayers. That said, at least personally, and we'll discuss this this year, and we'll look at your feedback and such, I never want to get too specific from a costume theme standpoint, which is why we intentionally kept it very generic, because among other things, packing luggage for a cruise ship, it's a, you've got very limited space, and we don't want anyone to feel obligated to have to make a choice, like if we decide you know, we're going to have Voltron and Transformers Day, what are they supposed to do with their Optimus Prime outfit? And does that mean they're going to have to not pack underwear for the week? Uh, so we, we gener in general, those types of things, we like to keep them pretty general so that people don't have to get too elaborate. It's not uh, about specific, it's about advanced notice. Okay. Well, uh, and if, I'll let the next hand. Sure, absolutely. And also that we feel like we don't want the people to be the people or to empower a specific thing, like we're gonna do Marvel, and then the people who like DC are like, uh, like we feel like it's something that the community can select, yeah. but that having a, a cosplay day at least says, hey, if you're really gonna strut your stuff, here's, here's a How great day for doing that. Let me ask a question, how much advanced, advanced notice would be appropriate to know Okay, here you go. Yeah, there will we'll do costumes on the There, there will be a cosplay day on the next cruise. <laughs> there you go. Do you have a follow up? So even if it's not a, a cosplay day per se, but if we have themed days at all, that cosplayers might have costumes. We're not going to have specific, you know, this is going to be a specific day which is designated a specific costume type. But yeah, that's something we can think about. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get the timing of, of the, the word on the timing of the different themed days, whatever they might be, uh, out to you earlier. That is absolutely a valid request. Uh, let's look for it. Well, continuing on the cosplay theme, it'd be better if cosplay were not on the same day that we're in port, so that you can have all day to be in your costume. Because it's a good point. I don't necessarily want to dress up for uh, port and get stuff all my stuff. I guess you're not yeah. serious about it. <laughs> hey, dude. I have well, I mean, some people, some some people just mess around with it. Some people just mess around with it. No, I hear that's a totally valid point. I guess. 